lot of uh, new Canadians that we saw come in here actually came from war torn countries. I went to grade one three times and I had to keep stopping and going back because of the war. I didn't speak the language, I, you know, wanted to belong, I didn't really know anyone. I met Maida when she was 11 years old. She was actually very shy and didn't want to speak too much, you know. Boys and Girls Club was like the cool place to go. So most people in our class would go after school and get their snack and get to play games, get to go on field trips, really cool things. She was an active member and really got involved in sports, arts and crafts, and some computer work. So her sense of belonging really became strong. It's like a second family away from yours. So everyone seems to really t take you in and uh, provide you with all these great opportunities. I went to Glenn and talked to him about it and he was the one who told me. So this is what it is, I think you should apply, you'd be a great candidate. I just remember getting that call and jumping up and down and it was my first scholarship. My mom especially, her, to this day, she tells me my biggest dream, my my wish in life is that you finish university. I'm extremely proud of Maida because of her accomplishments uh, as being an active member to becoming uh, a staff person. I think Maida has been a good role model uh, because of her friendly disposition to begin with and her um, unconditional willingness to help others. And I think that a lot of people underestimate our youth and it's important to be there for them and to be mentors and to work with them in any way that we can because they are the future. So any way that I can be involved with kids is my goal.